welcome to the last learning target for the review of graphing linear equations. So far we have reviewed how to graph using slope intercept form and how to graph using the x and y intercepts. But what happens if we have an equation that's not in that form, such as x equals 5 or y equals negative 3? We don't see the slope. In some sense, we don't see the x-intercept or the y-intercept, although you could find one of them for each of these equations. Well, when we have these types of equations, a lot of students freeze up. Maybe you're not one of them. Maybe you know exactly what to do. Let's talk about what it means and a tip that will help us remember, or a mnemonic device that will help us remember, how to graph these types of lines. So what does it mean when x equals a number like 5? What that means is that on our graph, every single point, doesn't matter what the height is, because it's not a y equals, it's just an x equals, doesn't matter what the height is, every single x coordinate is 5. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means my x intercept is 5, and 5, 1 is a point, 5, 2 is a point, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, negative 1, 5, negative 10 every height that I could possibly cover as long as it has an x coordinate of 5 and it gives us a vertical line. Whereas if it's y equals negative 3 that means that it doesn't matter what the x coordinate is the height will always be down 3 from the x-axis. So doesn't matter what the x is. The x could be negative 1 or negative 7 or positive 10, but the y coordinate will always be negative 3. This results in a horizontal line. So that's what it means. <clears throat> Tip to remember, I should have written that over here. Tip to remember this, there's an expression, oy vey. Some of you might be familiar with this expression. If you're not, feel free to look it up. But when we see this in math, it's kind of like oy vey or yikes, oh I forget what to do, what can I, there is some way to remember it. Well we slightly change that expression and how to spell it to oy vox. And I think I switched the colors here, that's okay. So <clears throat> for H, H stands for horizontal line. And all horizontal lines have a slope of zero because there is no rise. There's just a run. You're not going up or down. You have a slope of zero. And it is a y equals equation. In this case, y equals negative three. <clears throat> so this is y equals a number. So if I know that I'm going to write an equation of a horizontal line, I better use y equals a number. If I know that my equation of my line has a slope of 0, then I know it's going to just be y equals a number. And if I see y equals a number, then I know that it'll be a horizontal line with a slope of 0 through that number, on, in this case on the y-axis. For VUX, that stands for vertical. The U stands for an undefined slope. It's undefined because there is an infinite rise. It keeps rising, but there is no run. So in other words, we have large jumps vertically with a zero in the denominator. And if you have a zero in the denominator, the number is undefined. And it's an x equals a number equation. So vertical lines have x equals a number. So if you remember the expression oy vox, or if you say oy ve when you see that x equals a number or y equals a number, change it to oy vox. H-O-Y, the y equals, should be a horizontal line when you're done graphing. The x equals should be a vertical line when you're done graphing. So here are some examples. x equals negative 2. Oy vox. Okay, I have a vertical line at x equals negative 2. So on my x-axis, on the x-axis, go to x equals negative 2, and draw a vertical line. A vertical line, an undefined slope, x equals a number. Every point on that line has an x coordinate of negative 2. y equals 3.
Perhaps you see this later or when we begin school or later in the sem first semester or second semester and you write the expression oi vux to help you remember. This one is y equals. y equals a number is supposed to be a horizontal line with a slope of zero. So on the y-axis, go to y equals 3 and put a point and draw a horizontal line <clears throat> through that point. Every point on this line has a height of y equals 3. Please pause the video and take a moment to try the next two problems. For try it A, if you did this correctly, you used OI, Y equals. Since Y equals negative 3, we do a horizontal line through negative 3 on the Y axis. For letter B, X equals 5. So we use VUX. We go to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the X axis and do a vertical line. These are the two exceptions to how we graph linear equations. Generally, we use slope-intercept form or x and y-intercepts, but when it's x equals a number or y equals a number, this expression can help you graph the lines accurately. Have a great day.